Today we are going to demonstrate some dysarthria treatment options for various types of dysarthria. Um, the first one I want to demonstrate is the exaggeration of consonants. So um, my client is going to um, use this compensatory strategy to improve speech intelligibility. So we're targeting um, the improvement of phoneme production, such as if there's imprecise consonants or an irregular articulatory breakdown. And what we're going to do is um, teach the client to over-articulate consonant sounds in words, especially focusing on medial and final consonants, which are typically most slighted in running speech. And this will help with um, different types of dysarthria, included flaccid, spastic, unilateral upper motor neuron, ataxic, and hypokinetic. Um, again, this is just to improve intelligibility. So what we're going to do is I want you to read these words and just really emphasize every consonant in them. So can you go ahead and read this first one? Hot dog. Good. And then how about the next one? Baseball. Very good. So again, we're helping to improve intelligibility with that drill. Um, the second treatment, we're going to focus on um, improving respiration. So this would target the symptoms of um, shallow breath support, which typically could arise in patients with hypokinetic um, or flaccid dysarthria. So this technique is um, called cueing for complete inhalation. So what I'm going to do is remind the patient before speaking to inhale fully. So um, before you read this sentence, I'd like you to take a big deep breath and then go. The boy ran down the road. Okay, very good. And so this is just helpful to increase the client's breath support um, and these deeper inhala inhalations will hopefully eventually become habitual part of the client's conversational speech. So the next technique um, is to target phonation. And um, the real symptom we're targeting here is to decrease the hyper- <clears throat> adduction of the vocal folds. So the treatment is called the yawn sigh exercises. So it's basically exactly what it sounds like and the patient is asked to inhale slowly while fully opening the mouth such as a yawn effect and when you complete inhalation you're going to exhale while producing a gentle prolonged sigh. So you're going to inhale as if in your creating a yawn with a wide open mouth and exhale creating a long sigh. Can you try that for me? <sighs> Good. So this would uh, possibly um, benefit patients with spastic dysarthria because the yawning motion will facilitate relaxation of the neck muscles and hopefully will reduce some of the hypertension in the larynx. The fourth behavioral treatment um, that we will demonstrate is the reduction in the client's rate of, rate of speech. And this is targeting um, symptoms of poor intelligibility and hopefully to lessen the perception of hypernasality and of course to control the rate of speech. So. As I tap my finger, I want you to read this sentence, but only read one word per finger tap. Okay? So, are you ready? I'm ready. Okay. I will reduce my speaking rate. Okay. Very good. And this would um, benefit patients with flaccid dysarthria, but also ataxic and hypokinetic if you're working on um, rate of speech control. And it just gives a slow moving velum extra time to more 
fully close the pharyngeal port during connected speech, as well as allowing the articulators extra time to reach their target points in the mouth, resulting in the more precise articulation of phonemes. So the final um, behavioral treatment demonstration will focus on prosody and um, target stress and intonation problems. So this treatment is called the contrastive stress drills. And usually it involves the clinician asking the client a question in which he will answer using adding stress to keywords to convey the intended meaning. So I am asking you, in this picture, is the girl playing football? No, the boy is playing football. Exactly. So this exercise um, will benefit patients with either ataxic, spastic, flaccid, or hypokinetic dysarthrias, and it will help develop more natural pitch and loudness variations in connected speech. So that is all of the five demonstrations. Thank you very much.